Hello everyone, I've got another dishwasher for you to look at today. I'm currently staying in a holiday cottage on the northeast coast of the UK near the Farne Islands and it's quite a well equipped cottage. I've been making quite a few videos since I've been here apart from enjoying myself and taking the dogs out of course. So at the moment I've got the cottage to myself so I thought I'd do a quick video on this Indesit dishwasher. Now when I first saw it I thought ooh Indesit. A lot of unkind people refer to Indesit as another name. They add an H in there somewhere. I'm not going to say where but uh, some of you might be able to figure it out. But anyway so far it's been very good. It's pretty quiet. It seems quite robust. It has a nice firm clunk when you close the door and any dishwasher in my book is better than no dishwasher at all. Okay, I'm just going to take you through the programs of this machine. We'll have a look inside and then I'll possibly set it going. Okay, so this is an Indesit model IDF125. It's a AAA class, whatever that means. It could refer to the energy and the performance. Anyway, it's got five programs. Uh, program one is intensive. That's ideal if you're clearing up um, pots and pans, heavy duty cookware, you've had a big Sunday roast and there's a lot of greasy fatty mess to clear up then intensive is the program for you. That'll be the longest hottest program I'm assuming on this dishwasher. Then you have a program called Time For You. Uh, looks like that will clean basically everything that needs cleaning. It's got a picture of a pot and a plate so possibly that's just the regular setting for just your regular dirty dishes I would say. Soak, I'm assuming that's rinse and hold, it could be another program but I think soak must mean rinse and hold where it will fill with cold water, do a little bit of a program, drain and it will just stop then, it just leaves the dishes in a wet state until you have a full load to complete the wash. Then there's an eco program on setting for Possibly not useful if you've got lots of really heavily soiled dishes, but if you've got normally soiled everyday crockery and cutlery, you could possibly save a bit of money and select Eco. And if you're in a if you're in a hurry to get your washing done, your dishes cleaned, you've got Rapid 35, which I'm assuming takes 35 minutes. So here we have all the controls. Pretty simple affair. We've got the large knob in the middle to select one, two, three, four or five. There's the on off button and the start slash pause button. So when we turn the machine on, we initially get everything lighting up and the start pause button is flashing. So basically if I want to do this program which is intensive, all I have to do is turn the machine on then press the start button. Obviously I need to put some detergent in as well. This is the program state indicator. So when this little light is illuminated it means it's in the wash phase and I'm assuming it's also in the rinse. So washing or rinsing that will light up. This little sunshine figure must mean it's drying phase and then you've got a light to show you it's at the end. And there's an indicator to tell you when you need to put more salt in the machine. Assuming you don't use combination tablets and you live in a hard water area, you will need to put salt in this dishwasher. That will illuminate when you need to do so. So this is the dishwasher opened. You've got your lower basket for your general crockery, your plates, your bowls and the lower portion is where you'd put your pots and pans as well. Anything that needs a really good clean goes in the lower basket. You've also got your little removable cutlery basket and that can be positioned in various places but that's where it was when we arrived so that's where it's going to stay. And then you've got your upper basket for your glassware, your mugs. You could put uh, some bowls and your small um, side plates, saucers, that sort of thing can go in there. Just having a look inside, there are no jets or spray arms at the top of the cabinet, so we've just got two spray arms in this dishwasher. They're both plastic. We've got the spray arm underneath the upper basket, and the lower spray arm 
is located at the base of the cabinet. So here's a close-up shot of the lower spray arm. It is rather dirty in here because it has been loaded with dirty crockery. So we have a plastic lower spray arm as well as the plastic upper. You've got your little salt container here. Now when I actually arrived there was no salt or rinse aid in this machine but there was some provided under the sink so I did my Christian duty and filled it up with salt which came, comes with a funnel so you put in the dishwasher salt in there and we also filled up with rinse aid as well I'll show you that in a minute and here we have that's quite gunky I might clean that this is the fine mesh filter there's a coarse filter in there as well that could do with a, a bit of a soak in some hot soapy water and a little bit of a brush I'll do that before I actually switch on um, and then you've got another that's not too bad, that's fairly clean that's your metal mesh filter and these filters are designed to protect the pump because obviously the dishwasher they use relatively little water a dishwasher, a lot of people are surprised they think oh, they use a lot of water, they don't because they use the same water once they're filled up they recirculate the water and the water goes through this filter so it filters out any large bits so in reality a dishwasher can use less water than actually washing up by hand this is the detergent dispenser and rinse aid dispenser that's situated in the door of the dishwasher. The majority of dishwashers you buy have this sort of arrangement. It might look slightly different, but most of them, all the ones I've had experience of anyway, have the rinse aid and detergent dispenser. So you can put your detergent in here, either powder or you can put a tablet. There is also actually another little section here which I think you might use on the intensive program. Um, I'm not sure if you could actually put a tablet in that section there. You could certainly put powder. I'm just going to uh, see, I've got some tablets. They were supplied. I'll put a tablet in actually because I'm going to pop this dishwasher on. These are just some value tablets. Just seeing if they would fit, I don't think it would, no. You might be able to put half a tablet in there, but on a lot of dishwashers that is like for a pre-wash. On my Miele, I didn't see it at the time, but that section is for actually using for pre-wash powder. Because this will only spring, spring open when the correct temperature is reached, when it's in the wash phase. Some dishwashers will do an initial rinse and then they'll empty the water and then they'll start the wash and then at the correct part of the program this flies open and the tablet or the powder falls out into the machine and starts to get mixed in with the hot water so that tablet will go in there close that, this is the rinse aid doesn't seem, I don't know if it's adjustable on this I couldn't see, oh yes it is Underneath, this is the cap, must make sure the cap's on properly. The rinse aid just pours into here. I've used it quite a few times, so I can top a bit more up. So this is where the rinse aid goes in, until the maximum fill line. Hmm. There we go, that's full now. You've got an adjustable setting, that's, it looks like it's set on four. That's what I'd normally have it on, three or four and then we have to make sure that that's on correctly. There isn't a rinse aid indicator on the actual control panel but there is one here so when that goes a lighter colour it means you need to put more rinse aid in. It shows, it's a bit hard to see on camera but it shows dark now because the actual fluid is showing underneath there. When that shows a lighter colour then it's time to put more rinse aid in but personally I just always check with a machine like this I'd probably put rinse aid in depending on use. I might to check it every couple of weeks just to keep it topped up at all times so there's everything I can show you really on this dishwasher let's close the door so what I think I'll do I'll select time for you which is setting to obviously it's not a full load I would normally wait until the dishwasher was full but just to show you it going I'll select program 2 and then all I have to do now is press start
It's now filling up with water and before too long the pump will kick in and it will start spraying water throughout the cabinet covering all the dishes in the upper and the lower basket. So that's the Indesit dishwasher started on its programme. It's filled up and is now circulating the water through the cabinet. When the water reaches the correct temperature and it's at the correct programme stage, we'll hear a little noise that indicates that the soap powder dispenser has opened and it will release either the powder or the tablet into the machine. So I'm going to leave it to run. It's relatively quiet. I think it will, with experience with dishwashers, it will get slightly quieter when it's in the washing phase. Once the suds start to build up, they also help to deaden the noise. At the moment, it's just rinsing through clean water. But all in all, it's a budget machine, but it seems quite solid and, you know, it's pretty quiet. It's certainly quieter than my old Bosch machine that I used to own. It's not as quiet as the Miele I currently own, but really, it's not noisy at all, it's pretty good. I think it's probably quite good value. I've had this, well it's not mine obviously, but I've been here for a few days, it's been on every day, and it's always done a good job. Anyway, I'll come back at the end of the programme and we'll take a look at the clean dishes. Okay, so the cycle's finished. Let's have a quick look, round off the video. Little bit of water left on the top of that mug, that's pretty normal for many dishwashers, but oh, I was going to say, is that come clean? I think it's, <laughs> I thought it was a bit of a, a mark, I think that's supposed to be on the, <laughs> I think that's the design, I'm not sure. Oh, it isn't actually, oh well, <laughs> looks clean enough anyway. Oh no, it's not a bad, that's nice and clean. It's not a bad dishwasher really. I don't know how much they cost if they're still the current model, but... Oops. Yep. It did seem to take quite a long time on the Time For You program, but anyway, it's all done and it's done it fairly quietly and it does seem... seems fairly robust. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video on the Indesit IDF125 dishwasher. Many more videos coming up soon, especially if you like vacuum cleaners. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.